Hi friends, uh, welcome to GMK Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discussing about the sources of power dissipation. Okay, sources of sources of power dissipation. So before going to this one, what is meant by source? What is meant by power dissipation? How the power and energy are related to this one? So let us see in this in this diagram. So although power and energy are usually interchanged in many applications, okay. So because of if the power and energy are very important parameters in many applications, so first of all we have to define what is meant by power. What is meant by average power? What is meant by peak power? What is meant by energy? What is the relation between power and, and energy? If you are defining these terms, so therefore it is very easy to understand the further concepts in the low power design methodologies. So generally a power is a instantaneous power in the device. So let us see it is a diagrammatic representation here. So this diagram represents the this diagram represents the so power versus T where T is nothing but this is nothing but completely it is a power can be represented like so this dotted line represents the instantaneous power or uh, instantaneous power means sir uh, power at a particular time interval power at a particular time interval as well as average power is nothing but or energy is nothing but integration of a power with the time okay generally we know that generally the formulas for power instantaneous power is nothing but instantaneous power can be represented p is equal to i d d suppose if you are taking in terms of a the if a circuit is connected to the vdd supply okay the current is passing through the corresponding circuit is nothing but i d d at that time if you want to defining the corresponding power as well as instantaneous power p of t instantaneous power p of t is nothing but we can defining like this the instantaneous power the instantaneous power p of t is equal to i d d into v d d suppose if you are taking a, a current passing through the corresponding circuit and a source of the Power source of the power supply that is nothing but I will call PD, VDD. So this is nothing but uh, the relation instantaneous power formula. Suppose energy means that integration of the power over a time interval. Energy can be represented as integration of a power over a interval of time. So this is a so here 0 to t p of t is nothing but IDD into VDD. Right? This is a equation for the energy. As well as if you want to define the average power, okay. If you want to define the average power, average power P average is equal to let us see in this circuit diagram. This is a instantaneous power, particular instant of time. This dotted line represents the instant average power. If you are taking the average power, means that uh, the over uh, the total power over a the mean of power. That means if you want to define the average power or peak power first of all so let us see the these are the relations between the average power p average is equal to i will defining the formula for p average is equal to average power is equal to e by t okay energy over a time interval so that gives rise to the average power therefore that is equal to 1 by t energy is the formula is equal to over a 0 to t i d d into v d d okay this is a relation between power instantaneous power energy and average power now we have to define what is meant by peak power okay so in this diagram peak power is nothing but peak power is nothing but the peak power consumed by a particular device is that highest amount of the power it can consume at any instant of time that is generally called as a peak power that means uh, over an interval of time what is the maximum power consumed in the corresponding circuit suppose uh, there is a circuit is like this okay so in this circuit time if you are taking it is a is a power dissipation 
okay it is nothing but if you are taking t is the time interval this highest power okay this dotted line represents the power at a particular instant of time is nothing but maximum power or peak power is nothing but highest power consumed okay over the in this graph whatever the highest power consumed at that particular instant of time that is generally called as a peak power suppose if you want to define the average power suppose if you want to define the average power over an interval of time t okay that can be represented as average power consumed by a device is that mean of the amount of power it consumes over a period of time that means the total power consumed that means mean means average of the power means that mean value total mean of average power over a interval of time that is nothing but mean amount mean the, uh, we can also mean of the amount of power mean means that simply we can call as the average we can add some of the all the time instead we can divide it with the corresponding time interval that gives rise to the mean value right so in order to develop uh, so this is the diagram suppose here we can also defining energy is nothing but energy is equal to area of the power energy is nothing but area of the power suppose if you want to define the area of the power this is nothing but let us consider this part is equal to average power p1 the time interval is nothing but t1 therefore area of particular area energy of the particular curve is equal to p1 into t1 p1 into t1 means that p1 is nothing but height t1 is nothing but width it is like a rectangular format will be there therefore width into height that gives rise to the energy of the particular particular power particular curve so that is a one more uh, equation we can defining like this also as well as in order to develop a techniques so in order to develop a techniques for minimizing the power dissipation it is very essential to identify the various sources of power dissipation and the different parameters involved in each of them that means so if you want to identify if you want to uh, develop the minimizing techniques for the power dissipation first of all we have to identify the what are the various parameters involved in the power dissipation as well as the total power of the vlsi circuit consisting of the dynamic power as well as a static power the sources of power dissipation is basically we have a two types of power dissipations will be there that is nothing but a static power dissipation second one is nothing but a dynamic power dissipation. that means that first one is nothing but dynamic power dissipation dynamic power dissipation and second one is nothing but a static power static power dissipation static power dissipation so first of all what is meant by dynamic power dissipation dynamic power dissipation means that power consumed dynamic power dissipation means that power consumed when the device is in active that means if you are applying the input signals to the corresponding device at that time whatever whatever you know, what amount of the power is consumed by the device that is generally called as a dynamic power static power means sir uh, the circuit is connected to the power supply but the input signal is not applied to the corresponding device that is generally called as a static power dissipation in a sema circuit in a sema circuit in a sema circuit in a sema devices static power dissipation is uh, high due to the leakage mechanism in case of the sema circuit this uh, so if you want to defining the dynamic power dissipation dynamic power dissipation means sir uh, power consumed power consumed by the device when input is applied or input is changes the static power dissipation means sir uh, what is meant by static power static power dissipation means that circuit is or the device is powered up powered up means that it is connected to the power supply but input is not changing so that is generally called as a the amount of power consumed by the device the power consumption of the device is is equal to the 
is also we can also call this a static power dissipation is a power consumed by the device when the circuit is in the powered up condition that is generally called as a static power dissipation suppose if the power consumed by the device when the input signal is applied applies at that time is generally called as a dynamic power dissipation in case of the cmos devices the static power consumption is uh, due to the leakage mechanism okay leakage mechanism so those are the different sources of power dissipation in case of the vlsi low power vlsi circuits so in the next class we will see the we can define what is meant by dynamic power dissipation and what is meant by static power dissipation so thank you for watching gmk tutorials thanks a lot